Judge, today's case, hasta la vista, baby. I have a very attractive couple here that are trying to protect their love in the land of Instagram likes and booty shaking. It is a tough road to hole for a lot of us. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Nelson Rosado and Vanessa Arredondo. The two of you have been together for three years, living together for one and a half. You don't have any children together. Mr. Rosado, you are seeking $1,350 from Ms. Arredondo for something that we will talk about later. But before we do, Mr. Rosado, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to let Vanessa know that she has to stop being so jealous and so friendly with my father. It's gotten to the point where I can't even record music in peace in the studio. I'm in the music industry. I write songs for other artists. Well, I was in the studio one night recording um, with a female artist, and out of nowhere, she shows up to my studio, bum rush the booth, takes the microphone away from the female artist and tells her she's not worthy of recording with me, she's not worthy of my lyrics, just because she's a female. It's not that, it's just that he texts us all day, like, so it's like, he doesn't give me, he gives me reasons for me to think that he's doing something. It's not just business, like, mm -hmm. you get let, let me ask you this, though. She's in the booth making a song. Yeah. How is that inappropriate? Clearly that's business. <laughs> yeah, but it's just beyond that. Like, you go home and you're, you're, it doesn't even seem like business. Like, you're FaceTime. I call him FaceTiming one of the artists and blowing kisses. How is that professional? Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not just business. There's more than just business. So is there more than just business, Mr. Rosado? Definitely Tell, not, y'all. They just say the truth. Not. I'm just trying to get money and move on in the music industry. The thing about the kisses is the song called Kisses <laughs> that I was trying to get. Right. <laughs> God. So, of course, I'm going to blow kisses at the girl on FaceTime because I want to get her in the mood. I want to get her in the spirit of kisses. Oh. That's all. Serve, like, you never heard of a song that, I kisses? want Nick to be happy. Yes. I want Nick to be here. I want Nick to feel good. I don't bro the man any kisses. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different, thank different story. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and a little. That's a little shady. And then, yeah, that is super shady. And then on top of that, he wants to be super controlling. So it's like, I go to the store for five minutes, there's like 30 missed calls from him, but then look at what he's saying, that it's business, that you're blowing kisses. But then... Tell me the most outrageous thing he's done tracking and trailing you. Oh, I, every time I wake up, my phone is next to his side. He goes through my phone all the time, and it's like, I can't even put a password because... He's always finding out paths. He's always, even when I don't have a password, it's like he always wants to be through my phone. He never lets me, like I go out with my friends, 30, 40 missed calls. That is not normal. It goes beyond, but then you want freedom. Like, Mr. You Mr. Rosado, are you, are you jealous and controlling like she's describing? Yes, or you are. is she misunderstanding what's no. going on? I wouldn't say to the point that she's trying to predict me to be jealous and controlling, but I am a little jealous. Who wouldn't be? She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. So mm -hmm. if I like something, I love somebody, of course I want to see what she's doing, what she's up to, who's around her. But there's no controlling thing like that. Do you but, call her 30, 40 times? Definitely not. Yes. I, I don't do you check a phone yes, every night? Yes, nah, she's lying, Yes, Anna. you do. She's lying. So how my phone is, head. How does my head. phone travel Give me something, Ms. Arredondo, give me something specific. <laughs> give me something know. specific that he's done that you can point to. Oh, I was super hungry. I had just came out of school. We're like, I want, I want a taco so bad. Right? So we go to the, to the taco store by the house, and then we're in line, and there's this really cute guy you hear that? in front. Okay, he's attractive. I can see uh -huh. with my eyes. You're over there blowing kisses. Like, what are you doing? Is that a Concentrate. And, okay, so then we're there. We're online. And he starts just going back and forth to me and the guy. Like, and I'm literally just standing there. I just want tacos. I don't want nothing else. He goes up to the guy and he's like, oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's cute. Oh, <clears throat> like, you, you look crazy. Then the guy says, oh, yeah, she's very pretty. 
He does a crazy tantrum. He leaves the store and I, he leaves me there. He takes the car and just leaves me in the store. Mr. Rosado, that's did that happen? Crazy. Did You're that happen? That's not it happened. Stop. It happened, but who told him to be saying he's cute for? Yeah. Right, if uh -huh. you want a taco, just get tacos. That's it. Don't did, you, <laughs> did you approach the guy and start some yeah, stuff? Yeah, I did. I told him, what's up? You think she's pretty and everything? He's responded. Yeah, she's pretty. I'm like, oh, OK, no problem. So I just left her with her. You want her? Go ahead, have her. You say that he is jealous of his own father. Yeah, oh my because God. Because he says his father's a player and thinks he's trying to play with you. Why don't you tell me oh about Oh, my God. That? Give me a story about what's going on between the so three we of y'all. We went to a yoga class together mm -hmm. because his father was... You and his father? Yeah, well, he was feeling uh -huh. down. He was feeling down, so I was going to yoga, so I was like... Come on with me. relaxing, you know. What are you doing yoga? Relax, your, your mental state, everything. So I was like, if you want, come with me. You know, I'm not gonna say no if he's asking for help. Oh my God, once he found out that That's his father good, went with me to a yoga class, he packed up my stuff. He was screaming in the house. Yeah, what is that? That's so inappropriate. Packed up my stuff in a garbage bag. And he starts going crazy in the house. He left the house, went to the studio, didn't come back for two days. Like, okay. Mr. Rosado, did that happen? Yeah, it did happen, Your Honor. Talk to me about your concerns <laughs> oh about God. the relationship between your lady and I'm your so father. Over things. I know my Stop. father. Stop. I know my father. That's why I'm telling her that he ain't to be trusted. He, he has nine you think he kids, six different baby mothers, six different women. That's a lot of moving and shaking. I, I come from him. <laughs> <laughs> I come from him, so I know what he's capable of doing, and every woman that he's presented to me, aside from my mother, has been younger than him. Mm -hmm. around my age. Right. So I feel like he's trying to jump into my woman out of nowhere, trying to be sneaky, trying to go to yoga class. Like, you too old for yoga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you should be home drinking That's tea, so drinking mean. coffee or something. Has he done anything other than that? Anything else that makes you yeah, believe he's, yeah. he's trying to get at her? Yeah, yeah. He even Tell went me. to the club where she works at, because she works at a bar also. And he's popped up at her bar, trying to be friendly with her. When I went to the bar and I see him there, I told him, like, yo, what are you doing here, papa? He said, oh, I'm here, you know, mingling with your girl. She's mad cool. She's trying to hook me up with her friend, this and that. And I'm like, reading him, like, nah, it don't sound right. It just don't sound right because I know him. But and he's told me numerous times, oh, she's gorgeous. She has a nice body. You should be careful. Like, why would you tell me that for? Mm -hmm. You're my father, right? And you should right. be supposed to be supportive of me, not uh -huh. trying to kick it to her. Uh -huh. I know him. Like, she's just trying to be too friendly. Cloud chasing. Is there? I'm not cloud chasing. I know what cloud chasing is. Oh. So I feel so bad. <laughs>know that he's jealous in general and that he has a particularly not contentious relationship with his father but but a, a lack of trust that hey, 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 I'm still talking uh, but because of who he is and how he's conducted his past would it not behoove you to be a little distant from the father in order to comfort your man yeah. yes you're you're right your honor but this didn't like it started building he didn't ever told me this uh -huh. He never sat, like, he never sat down and really spoke to me about it. It was just like, me, I love family. We're, I'm very big in family, so it's like, why am I not gonna be friends with your family? That's the way I grew up. Yeah. But then he has other issues, like, his issues are personal with his dad. So that's why he overreacts. Do you have personal issues with your dad? Yeah, he didn't like raise what? me. He didn't raise me, he was never there for me, he ain't teach me nothing. He wasn't around. Yeah, he was never around. So he started getting around me when I was like probably 28 years old, when I started doing more music, getting more music money. Mm. So I always found that fishy. Right, right. He, he ain't to be trusted, man. He ain't to be trusted. That doesn't pass the smell test to me. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. understand exactly why you feel that way. You didn't do the hard work when I needed you. And now nothing. when I'm getting something done, here you come up. Popping up out of popping nowhere, out of nowhere, you know. Like a ghost. Come on. What's the last, is there something else you want to tell me? Something else I gotta know. She's too jealous about my daughter. Tell me about that. Anytime I go see my daughter, it could be two, three hours, because I only get permission to see my daughter two times a week, right? Right. So I'll spend those days like four or five hours with her, and she's constantly calling me, constantly FaceTiming. She wants to know my every move with my daughter. In her mind, she thinks I'm with an ex or something. 
mm -hmm. trying to do some other thing besides being with my daughter. And it's, it's a headache, you're honest. This ain't no relationship, it's like a job. But you act this like Ariana, do, 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 do you, do you, do you blow up on his phone? He's only got a few precious hours yeah. with his daughter. Do you blow up his phone and ruin those few precious hours that he has? Not always, but I do call mm. him just to make... Why? Just to check up on him, I mean... Why? Because I want to see what he's doing. But it's not like I'm on... You act like my father all the time. Like, I can't even do nothing without... Asking for permission. Maybe you need I'm, some guidance, that's all. Ms. Ariando, let me say you, tell you this. You stop that okay. right now. He's got some hours with this. You know, you've got him every day, all day long. He's got eight hours with his baby. Yeah. He doesn't need to report to you. He don't need to tell you nothing. He needs to concentrate on that little girl. She has the right to have him all to himself, yeah, right. all to herself. Don't be that insecure chick that can't even let him live his life. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna yell at you both about that a little later on. Mm -hmm. But just, I'm, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I get it. It is of such value, not just to him, but to her. Yeah. He knows what it's like to grow up without a yeah. parent in the household. Exactly. Don't interrupt that. You with me on that? Yes, I'm all with righty, you. All righty, all Do you have one last burning thing you must tell me that I have yet to ask about or that has yet to come up? <clears throat> well, just the, like the modeling thing. I can, <clears throat> like he doesn't support me in it. You, you, you model? Yeah, like okay. I do a little model. I also go to school, but I do a little modeling on the side. It's like, I can't post a picture without an argument. So it's like up to the point that I don't, I can't even have social media without an argument or every picture like he wants me to, everything has to be about him. Nothing could be about me. He doesn't give me that space to be supportive with me either. He says I'm not supportive with him, but it's like, how do you want me to be supportive with you if you're not supportive with me at all and like what I really like and what I want to do? Your response to that. So all she do is post thirst trap pictures, miss. <laughs> thirst trap no, pictures. No, I don't. I know what thirst trap means and everything. I've been to this nation. So I you know, know if you're a guy and you scroll and you scroll and you see something nice, oh, boom, like, you're going to leave a comment. Uh, and the thing about the comments is she replies back to everybody like she knows them. Like, she's too, just trying to be too friendly. Uh -huh. Cloud chasing. Is there? Thirst trap. I'm not cloud chasing. I know what cloud chasing is. Oh, so oh. I feel sorry. I'm telling you. Hey. That's two in a row. There you go. As long as everything from the waist down remains where it should be is not indicative of a lack of trust, care, fidelity, or kindness towards you. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. Are you clout chasing and no, thirst trapping? No. <laughs> no, I am not. I am not. Is there an yeah. economic end that you are trying to reach with these pictures, or is it simply something you do for fun? No, I mean, I do work at, in, at night. I bartend here and there, you know, just for, like, extra cash. So it's just, it comes with, you know, with everything, you know, like the clouds want me to promote for them. Yeah, so everybody's I just put, branding themselves exactly, no matter what they do. Exactly, so I just do. put a picture, and every picture for him, I could be standing next to a dog. Oh, you're cloud chasing. What am I cloud chasing? <laughs> yeah. The ASPCA or something, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. But she, this is how she posts with the dog. She can have the dog carrying. Sean. <laughs> no, I don't. Like, what is that? No, Just show the dog. You're trying to show the dog? No, I don't. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I gotcha. Tell me about the $1,350 you are seeking to recover from Ms. Ariando. Well, it's a BMW 2010. We paid $7,000 for it. The, the monthly payments are four fifty, dollars and we only got three monthly payments left on it. I'm trying to get the money if she's, don't, she's not going to pay it no more because she said she don't want nothing to do with the car. So I'm trying to see if she can give me that half of the money. So you had agreed initially yes. to go half and half with the car. Yes, correct. Do you both drive the car? Yes, yes. correct. And is the car in both of your names? No. It's in your name yes. or her name? My name. It's in, it's in your name. What was the agreement, Ms. Arredondo, according well, we, to you? Well, we were going to go half and half on everything. But like I said, he pays for studio sessions sometimes that he can't even afford to give me money for half the car. So how are you bringing me to charge me for money when you want to keep the car? And I really, I, you could keep the car, but it's like, you also have to give me something 
for what I'm putting down. It's not just you paying everything. So I really, I don't agree with me giving him money. It's in your name? Yeah, it's on my and name. And you gonna keep the car when you go? I'm the responsible one, Your Honor. You gave me no basis upon which you, to give you any money, but I am gonna give you some advice. <laughs> <laughs> we like advice. This, adv this advice pertains to both of you because you're a mirror reflection of each other. You live in a society where, and, and, and granted, I was not raised in this, where everything is out there and online. When I, mm -hmm. you know, uh, everybody's, every woman has got her butt turned to the camera <laughs> and given it, the, given it the wild wiggle. Definitely. And it has become, you know, almost de rigueur, if you are a woman, to show your butt to the camera. I don't think it's cool, but, you know, y'all do what y'all want. Uh, I don't think that is indicative of her mindset. I think she's doing what she's doing as a part of the constant culture of branding and beauty and likes and followers. And I don't think it's indicative of any lack of, of fidelity, love, or care for you. I really don't think that. Likewise, what he's doing at the studio and that all the life that is associated with, as long as everything from the waist down, remains where it should be, is not <laughs> indicative of a lack of trust, care, fidelity, or kindness towards you. You guys have to learn to trust one another. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult living in a world where everything you see is a threat to your relationship, a comment at a taco store, this and that, you know, live mindfully of the concerns they have. You need to be mindful of his need to be with his daughter without you interfering. You need to be mindful of his, his rocky relationship with his father when you do other things. You need to be mindful of the fact that she's your woman and that you can trust her and that she can have conversations and that you support her in her growth and, and, and her attaining other things without feeling insecure about it. Y'all just insecure. Yeah. Nobody doing nothing wrong other than overreacting to the little itty bitty things that happen in everyday life. Here's the deep part. Being mistrustful <laughs> means that you are unhappy 364 days of year on the off chance on the 365th she might do something wrong. Yeah, right. It's right. a bad trade. You're mad every day, all day, anything that happens at, because you think that might mean that she might or that he might. Why do it? Just trust him. Yeah. Just trust her and love. And if one day he gets caught, with his trousers round his ankle in the wrong place, that's when you go. Yeah. One day she gets caught doing the same thing, then you go. But in the interim, enjoy one another. Yeah, right. Love that she's beautiful. Love that he's <laughs> handsome. Don't, don't. It's difficult to love from a place of fear. Do it from a place of confidence. Do you understand yeah, right. what I'm saying? Sounds good. You're yeah, right, Your Honor. I like that. Y'all a gorgeous couple. I like you both. I Thank wish you, you the best, and there will be no recovery in this match. Thank you so much. Well, I'm feeling good about the advice that she gave us. I feel like I'm gonna take it upon us to really be more positive and be more loving with each other and less insecure. He kept saying you're too friendly, especially with his father. Are you gonna distance yourself a little bit and kind of respect those boundaries? Yes, I am. The judge gave us some really great advice. And, you know, I'm gonna respect the fact that he doesn't have that relationship with his father, so I'm really gonna fall back and let them build their own relationship on themselves. Follow us on Instagram for additional content from this case and preview our next all-new episode.